Every single time you play it, get better at what you do. I saw that tonight. I saw that definitely. Great effort. That's all I can ask. stomping ground known as Red Grange Field, it is packed with wild Tiger fans eagerly anticipating their Wheaton Warrenville South Tigers. Back in the 1920s, Red Grange, the player known as the first true NFL superstar, began his football playing career suiting up for the Wheaton Tigers. We talked with James Butcher, a fourth generation Tiger, whose class is the only Tiger team to have won back-to-back -back state titles. When you look at the history of Wheaton and football, it's really quite impressive. Other than a small stint from the 70s to the mid 80s, we have been utterly dominating. If you look at the last 18 years, six state championships, three second place finishes, and three semifinal visits, a dynasty is indeed being built. The 2010 Wheaton Warrenville South Tigers are presently ranked number one in the state of Illinois and are riding a 20 game winning streak. Will this class be the second in history to win back to back state titles? Only time will tell. That is Tiger Time. I'm Kernitra Brown reporting here at Red Grange Field for WICB TV. That's right. You did too. You guys took care of it. Good to see you. Can I get you for a few? Yeah. Got a little nippy out here tonight, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did. <laughs> Speak briefly about Riley O'Toole and how he has matured as a senior, especially at the beginning of the fourth quarter. He made a couple of huge throws. Yep. What have you seen from him as he's grown? Has the game slowed down for him? I think I think Riley is a competitor, number one. And um, anytime a kid that's a competitor and has been there before, uh, has the experience factor that he gained from last year, yeah, the game slows down. And I think at the quarterback position, that's your trigger guy. That's the guy that has to take care of the football. And uh, he found people tonight. I think that um, I'm not sure we were looking for. The senior class is special because they've won since they were freshmen, correct? They have. And, you know, what's special about them is the way that they uh, stick together. They're supportive of each other. Uh, it's a fun, fun group to coach. I wish every coach had a chance to coach a group of kids like this. You, sh you should hear them out in the midst of the game. You know, they're having fun together, they're talking, they're coaching each other up, and uh, that's, that's a great senior class when that happens together like that. 
Thanks, Coach. You bet. I remember what it was like to play Blue Bag Tech. I was such my class and I asked Coach Mewich about you guys. What makes you so special as a group? I think, so close to them. yeah, I think definitely, like you said, close knit. I think we're just a, a great group of guys. And, uh, not just the four captains, but we have a great senior leadership. I mean, we're a senior dominated team. We do a really good job of seniors leading and seniors that aren't uh, starters, they get in on special teams and juniors that aren't really getting playing time, they're, they're working to get on special teams or, or get some playing time. So we just have to do a really good job. Of seniors. We have a really good uh, group of seniors and they're doing a great job of leading. And I think uh, no, one, no one has a big head on our team. So that, that kind of works itself out. And I think that's showed uh, the way we play on the field. Best of luck to you, man. Seriously. Every single time you play it, get better at what you do. I saw that tonight. I saw that definitely on some great efforts by people.